in this video i am going to discuss about interference due to reflected light and we are going to derive condition for maxima and minimum okay now to derive condition for maxima minima let us consider a thin film it is the thin film and let us denote its ends top end by p q and bottom sides by r yes pq rs be the thin film and it is having a refractive index mu and this thin film is surrounded by air here it is surrounded by air and it is having refractive index mu is equals to 1 okay now let us suppose a light ray ab incident on thin film that is on top face of the thin film here i am going to draw a normal and when it incident on top face of the thin film some part of the light gets reflected and some part of it gets refracted and let us denote this angle by i that is angle of incidence and this angle by r that is angle of refraction and let us denote this by bc bc is the reflected light wave and bf is the refracted light wave okay here when bf incident on the bottom face of the thin film here i'm going to draw a normal here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted and let us denote transmitted light by f k and this reflected light by f d and let us denote this point by g and when f d incident on the top face of the thin film then again here some part of light is gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted let us denote this transmitted wave by d e d e is the transmitted wave and it is having thickness t and one more thing here we are going to observe phase change pi or path difference lambda by 2 at this point and here we are going to observe no phase change pi and there is no path difference lambda by 2 for transmitted wave and from alternate angles we can write this angle by r in triangle b f g g f d here all sides are equal in both triangles all sides are equal so we can write this angle as r in same way here also the incident light ab it makes angle i 
behind the reflected light bc it makes angle i okay now what i am going to do i am going to draw perpendicular line on bc here it is having 90 degree angle and here this is the angle i and we can write this angle as a 90 minus i and also here we can write this angle as a i because let us suppose this angle is unknown if you take sum of angles that is x plus 90 minus i plus 90 is equals to 180 degree that is sum of angles then it gives 180 minus 90 minus 90 plus i that is x is equals to i 90 90 180 get cancelled so we can write this angle as a i and let us denote this point by h and one more thing if the film is too thin then the two reflected rays that is bc and de which are very close to each other and they superpose each other and produce a interference pattern as a result a film appears bright and dark okay now to write condition for maxima minima let us write some of the mathematical expressions here the geometrical path difference between two rays that is bc and de is here the geometrical the geometrical path difference between the two rays two rays is given by I am going to take it as a L which is equals to B F plus F D minus B H to calculate path difference between these two rays here we can observe that from this point to this point these two rays are traveling same path but here the ray DE traveled some of the extra path that is BF plus FT is the extra path traveled by ray DE and if you subtract this extra path by extra path which is traveled by ray BC that is BH if you subtract this we are going to get the path difference between these two rays that is the path difference is equals to bf plus fd minus bs this is the geometrical path difference between two rays okay now let us write the optical path difference between the two rays here we are going to take optical path difference delta is equals to mu l where mu represents the refractive index of the medium here bf plus ft this light ray travels in the medium so we are going to write mu bf plus ft because this is the refractive index of optical medium and minus bh because here refractive index of air is equals to 1 that's why we are going to write only bh this is the optical path difference